Okay, this is a, a neural kind of sliding technique when you've got tension down the back of the calf and also in the back. Um, so basically you fold a towel up, sort of like so. You put your forefoot in the towel. So my foot is in the towel, at the, like the forefoot part of my foot. Using a shoe is probably easier because you've got more grip. And I'm gonna take my, my toes towards my shin as I extend my leg. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, so my leg's extended, then I'm going to take my chin down to my chest. And then I'm going to extend my head back. Sometimes you can feel a change through the back. If you've got tension, you might feel it when you put your chin down and it's relieved when you take your chin back. And then you can put your chin down and you can actually bend your leg and then extend and then take the chin back. Chin down. So when the chin down and the legs extended, you've got all the neural tension on. If I bend my knee, I take it off at the distal part. If I extend, it comes back on. And if I extend my head, I take the pressure off at the top proximally. So chin down. I've got my straight leg, my toes are going towards my shin. Tension on, bend my leg. Tension off, tension on, straight leg, toes to the shin, and then head back, tension off. And basically you can do a bunch of those and that'll help relieve some of the tension through the back of your body and your hamstrings. Um, I've given that to a client today and I thought I'd video it to show everyone at home. So you can do um, one on each side, you can do 10 reps. And uh, if you've got tension in your hamstrings and your back, Maybe your glutes are a bit weak and you're using your hamstrings quite a lot. That's a good one to try and get a bit more, more mobility and to get the nerve sliding through its sheath so that it's not tethered anywhere and causing you any problems. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, let me know.